Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to replace Unity in the latest Ubuntu release with a uh, new program called GNOME. So what we're going to do is first um, open up the search bar and we're going to go to our software center. So open that up and uh, here we are. And you're going to do a search for GNOME. And the first option is going to be full GNOME desktop environment with extra components. So go ahead and hit install on that. And I've already been working on it because it takes a little while to download. It's about a 290 megabyte file. So uh, get started on that. And then once it finishes downloading, it's going to start applying the changes. Uh, you'll notice a box pop up here for configuring various options. So you can go ahead and hit forward on this. And uh, it's going to go ahead and apply these changes to your system. Uh, this might take a little while. Uh, so go ahead and get some coffee or something. This took me about 20 minutes before it uh, finished applying all of the changes. And it depends on the speed of your system as well. If you have a slower machine, this is going to take much longer to complete. So unfortunately, I don't have a pause button on my screen recorder. So uh, if you just fast forward a number of seconds, you should match up to where I you know, pick up from here. This will probably take another 30 or 45 seconds. In the meanwhile, if you're still with me, I can show you some of the new features of Unity. Um, so a lot of people don't like it for various reasons. Maybe they don't like the bar on the left-hand side. Um, oh wait, we got a box popping up here. Okay. Um, anyway, a lot of people might not like the icons on the left, or maybe they don't like this full-screen search. But it does have a number of interesting features. You can connect your uh, Facebook and Twitter account, search through your photos or your friends' photos, it can also perform web searches. It also connects with Amazon. So, so you say search for speakers. Uh, it will go ahead and do a search on Amazon for speakers and include some prices with that. So it has a lot of nice features to it, but for some reason, you know, people different uh, don't like it for various reasons. And uh, I don't like it personally because of the, the bar on the left and the icons look kind of um, look kind of almost like childish to me. They're kind of animated. So, whatever your reasoning is, GNOME is a different um, window manager, different uh, design, so it'll help you get a different look to your system. So now that this is finishing up, hopefully it'll only take a couple more seconds, and we'll go ahead and proceed with the next steps. Like I said, this really does take quite a long time. It's a huge package. Um, so you can really you know, get this started and then go make dinner or something like that. OK, uh, so this is now complete. Uh, GNOME is now installed. So if we go ahead and log out, hopefully, if everything is uh, done correctly here, the next time we log in, you should have the option of choosing GNOME. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and select GNOME here, and I'll enter in your password. And you'll notice, once the desktop starts up, that the entire desktop environment has been changed, and you should be presented with the new GNOME desktop. And there you have it. Now that's GNOME for you. It takes quite a while to install, but once you do, it completely changes it. And if you'd like to return to Unity once you're done, again, log out and select Unity in the login window. So this little uh, option here will allow you to, uh, actually it's under uh, Ubuntu default. So the default is Unity, the changed one is GNOME. So that's how you replace Unity. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is much easier than the older versions in uh, 1204 and, and prior, you had to do a lot of the uh, command line work. So you can just install this right from the software center and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have